to my first Bob Proctor seminar. It was 11 years ago. And when I walked in that room, I didn't know who Napoleon Hill was. I didn't know what Think and Grow Rich was. I didn't understand that we had a subconscious mind that we could create whatever we wanted, that it didn't matter what degrees we had. It was what we wanted, what was in our heart. And becoming aware of that changed my life and then enabled me to change people's lives. So, you know, I think the film is, is it's just, the job that was done was so beautiful and it's going to impact so many people and as you can tell i'm kind of excited about that <laughs> love it <laughs> mr proctor i loved you in this film it was an honor to uh, be in your presence here and you've been one of the senior teachers of think grow rich you've been featured in the secret and I know you continue to read Think and Grow Rich every day for the last 57 years. So from your perspective, after watching the film, how has it been meaningful to you? Well, I want to congratulate the people that made this film because I think they did a phenomenal job. I really enjoyed sitting and watching it. I, um, I've been wondering for a long time what the film was going to be like. And I came in here tonight, my mind was open. I didn't know what it was going to be like. I really, I really, truly am impressed with it. Um, I was given the book when I was 26, and I was losing. I'd always been losing. And that book did something. It was the book and the man that gave it to me, really. It just, it seemed to throw a switch in my mind. And I read it, that was on... October the 21st, 1961. I've actually read the book he gave me every day. That was his suggestion. If you read this every day, you can have everything you want. I didn't really believe that, but I believed he believed it. And I've been reading it every day. It's in my hotel room. The book is literally falling apart. It was in the screen here. There was a real old book you saw on the screen. But I think the beautiful part of this is that Think and Grow Rich is, um, it goes way back prior to the Great Depression, really. And I think a lot of uh, younger people, and even older ones, will think of Think and Grow Rich as, well, it's old, you know, and they don't realize that the laws never change. And they're always the same. But I think this film is going to get a whole new field of people really into checking out what they're doing with their life and it's going to reach a lot of young people that probably they could very easily miss their life and i think the way the film was made the way you've got the points across and put the points across is is really quite incredible I was, uh, I was just super impressed with it. It was so well done. So I think the, uh, you know, it's been going since 1937. I think it'll go for another hundred years without any trouble. I think the film was going to push it into places where the book wouldn't have maybe gone. Um, I think, Don, you, you deserve a lot of credit because you kept this going over many, many years. But the crew that put this together sure deserve a pat on the back. I am very impressed. Got another round of applause.